Hi Scorpio, welcome to your astrological quantum reading for the month of May. So we're gonna go, I haven't done these in quite a while, but there's enough planetary kind of entanglement and positions that are happening over the month of May that I wanted to go into this for you guys. So this is for Scorpio, <laughs> nice, sun, moon, rising, and as always, oh no, 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 just keep in mind that these are general readings. If you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there and that way you'll get an email notification every time the availability opens up. And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you've supported the channel. And let's dive in. Okay. So overall, kind of supportive energy for the month, you have the threshold. So it looks like you might be kind of having a month of maybe taking a step into something, you know, you're at the threshold of something changing. And this is probably why, because your very first card out is the hanged man. So let me dive really quick into what's going on, first of all, other than your planetary positions. First off, we're going into Pluto retrograde, and the thing that I wanted to touch on, and especially for you, Scorps, this is going to be probably influential the most on your sign, and it's just because your Pluto rules Scorpio, okay, and Pluto also affects the digestive system. So when it comes to certain things that maybe something feels on hold, it, it, and I'm saying that because in your first house in Aries is the hanged man. Maybe feeling like you need to let some things go and there could be a little bit of energy where you're just watching things a lot over the month because the hanged man is kind of like perspective shifts and that's why I've been recommending to people when planets go retrograde, you know, it's, it's as if the planet is moving backwards, but it's not, it's just moving very slowly. And so I feel like what happens like the energy entanglement is it almost slows down and, and the fact that it is, it you know, Pluto affects the digestive system. If you have chemicals that are stored in your digestive tract, like say for instance, you've been eating any type of like processed foods or free radicals, they actually go through and they wear down the mucus lining inside the intestines. And then what happens is you have memories and emotions that are tied into the digestive system, right? I know it's boring, but that's why with the hanged man, you might be having some experiences come up and they might be something tied to your past because Pluto wants to transform you. It's death, sex, transformation, taxes, yeah? So that's what is going to be kind of a highlight over this next month because it's like some things might come up to the surface. This is almost like your higher self, Scorps. Your higher self is ready to step into something, but there could be something about lower vibrational energies inside of you, like shame, guilt, and fear that are kind of like keeping you a bit on hold. And that's probably the only reason why you're kind of like the hanged man throughout the month of May, is you might be kind of like holding back before you jump into things and, you know, really gaining a deeper perspective before you do anything. Which isn't a bad thing, especially during retrogrades. I think it's a positive thing to do. Okay. So, I'm just going to give one more shuffle. And there we go. Okay, nice. That's awesome. So, in your second house, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So, there could be like a new... And maybe that's what's going on with the Hanged Man too. Because this is money finances. You might be finding a new way to bring in money. Or there's something new where you're investing in something brand new. There's just something here. There also could be a new opportunity that's presented to you in some way connected to money. Like maybe a new home, maybe a new job. Something here will be affecting and it'll be a brand new thing that comes in that will affect your monetary or your finances. <laughs> nice. Okay. In your third house of communication, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So... That means that you might be making some different directions and in a positive way when it comes to communication. So either it's with people that you're communicating with, or for those of you, if this is like online communications, you might be doing things a different way or you're deciding to get into that. It looks like it's positive, whatever is coming in there. 
because I feel like, and maybe it's even connected to the second house, so kind of like new way to make money, and you're just communicating in a different way, and maybe it's because energetically you're seeing things from a different perspective throughout the month of May. In your fourth house, we have the Two of Swords. Okay, so let me dive into this just a little bit, because Mars is going to be in Cancer, and no, it's not in the fourth house, but... You have the Two of Swords where there could be kind of some confusion or things don't really make sense, you know, or kind of like when it comes to family or home, you have some decisions that you have to make. You're like balancing some options and trying to decide about something about your home. Okay, and we'll dive into it in the extended. So I'm just going over generally what's going on in your fifth house, which is where Jupiter is. <laughs> There's your card, Scorps, the death card. Okay, so that's actually really cool. I feel like when it comes to hobbies or sports or your creativity or passion, you might be kind of letting something go. And it's kind of like a positive thing because Jupiter is good luck. And so there's going to be a lot of luck when it comes to you taking action on your creativities, your passions, anything like that. Because maybe it might even for some of you be a physical transformation that you're going through. Or it could just be new ideas. You're letting go of old ideas and you're making room for something new connected to. It's like you are transforming through your fifth house a lot. So also some of you guys, this is romances. So you could be ending something because something Jupiter might be bringing in a good luck romance or someone new like that. Okay. In your sixth house, perfect card. We have the six of swords. Okay, I love when those synchronicities happen. Yeah, so this is your health. That's Virgo house. So you might be, some of you guys might be traveling or doing something. You're definitely moving on from something when it comes to your health. Some of you guys, that could be location-wise. Like if you're trying to wait, move away from a toxic environment, whether that's like toxic chemicals or toxic humans or just temptations, it just looks like throughout the month of May, you're looking more to resolve things that throw you off balance in your health, okay? And for some of you guys, that might even be like energy vampires or things like that, people that just take and you only give, okay? In your seventh house, we have the seven of wands. Holy cow, this is so cool. Um, so there might be some partnerships because seventh house is partnerships. There could be some people that you might feel a pitch defensive with or almost like that you need to like I maybe it's connected to this six and seven right here as you go to kind of like move on or you're kind of moving away you might actually feel like some opposition comes against you in some way in that matter and it might cause you to kind of have to stand up for yourself or kind of like you know it, It'll take a little bit more action and effort for you to kind of disconnect from certain people in your environment, okay? In your eighth house, wow, Scorps, okay. I was so blown away when I saw this. So at different times of the month, you will have, be having Venus, Mercury, and the Sun all moving into your eighth house, all at different times of the month. But that's actually good. So when it comes to your transformation, which is down here too, so these two houses I can see are connected. So it's like, you're going to have good luck when it comes to really dialing down and, you know, putting your attention on your creativities, your passion, hobbies, sports, whatever transformation, this energy is going to transform you. Okay. And Jupiter is going to help you there. And Venus also is going to be coming in. Venus beautifies things. So when it comes to your, you guys, you might actually even be coming like more physically beautiful, more like more appealing in that way. It's like you're going through this another form of transformation. Some of you guys might be changing like things about your physical appearance and things like that. And so with that, nice. We have the Ace of Swords. Okay, this is so cool. Now with the Sun and Mercury, that doesn't surprise me. Mercury is communication and the Sun is like you, how you shine all coming in your own house. So Ace of Swords, it feels like 
you have a lot of truth, you have a lot of clarity and continue to do these things that you're working on because I feel like it's again connected to this truth or this, you know, thing that you're sticking with, your own truth, it actually might be the thing that gives you the strength to actually step into something, to cross some type of threshold, a big transformational crossing over energy for you through the month of May, okay? In your ninth house, we have the Justice card, which is Libra energy. And that's travel that um, that could be documents. I'm not going to lie. That could be something that you're working on as you're looking at. Um, and this is higher learning knowledge. That's intelligence, like philosophy. So there could be something here where you're researching more truths or I don't know, something about like certain things that you're researching or a lot about fairness throughout the month of May. It's like certain things that you research into, it's actually going to bring truth and balance into your life. We'll dive into that one though, because I feel like there's more. Okay, there's the five of wands coming into your 10th house, which is career. Okay, sorry. When it comes to your career, there might be some, you're either in some type of environment or you're getting into an environment and maybe it's connected over here with the Ace of Pentacles. There could be some competition, whether it, and maybe it's like conflict that comes up as you're moving into all this stuff. Because I can see the Seven of Wands down here connected to some type of partners that you're dealing with that are maybe struggling with the fact that you might be moving on this month or moving away from their energy and just focusing a lot more on your goals, your achievements, whatever it is that you're wanting to accomplish. There could be some like competitive or some weird jealousy that comes up throughout the month, but we'll look into that more. In your 11th house, we have the Three of Swords. That doesn't surprise me. There could be something here because that's friendships, social networking, wishes and dreams. You have the Three of Swords there, so there could be something that comes up. Actually, I feel like that's already something that you're, you could be kind of, dealing still a bit with some grief or pain just underneath the surface some of you guys this could also be a grudge there's some type of heartbreak and I feel like it's from some endings it feels like in the past and maybe Pluto's bringing that up to kind of like clear out that's why I was talking about the digestive system because that's going to be quite activated so any type of pains or sensitivities that you have in the body or even with you when you communicate with humans and you feel like a little bit of sensitivity when they communicate it could be a good sign for you to do more strength training or things to kind of bring up your energetic levels internally okay in your 12th house we have the 10 of swords yeah that makes sense <laughs> 12th house is Pisces, self-undoing, self-sabotage, anything deep psyche work. Yeah, you're pretty much like still, I feel like you're still processing like almost some type of abusive relationship that you went through in the past. I hate to bring that up, but I almost feel like it's just something that needs to be kind of cleared. You guys are trying to officially close something out and maybe it's in your mind since it's in the 10 of swords, like you're still processing and kind of like letting go of the baggage of that, trying to let go of all the mental programming, like all the thoughts that you had kind of perceived and and you know maybe took you on as a form for a human for a while as you were going through that experience you're doing a lot of deep internal stuff on letting those ideals go so that you can step into this new version of yourself so scorps um i'm gonna tag a video at the end it's a random video about um joe rogan with a doctor talking about phthalates it's a very important video if you guys want to dive into it i would highly recommend it so you can click on that video at the end but if you guys want to also join the extended with me we'll dive deeper into the cards see if there's any other messages so if you want to join me over there, feel free, go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Scorpio, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.